Well, hey guys, I am getting ready to pack. I'm going on a trip. The American Academy of Dermatology meeting is this weekend in Boston. So I thought for this video, I would show you all how I pack my skincare, what skincare products I'm taking. I know you guys enjoy that kind of stuff. I'll also show you what outfits I'm taking. I'm really excited. I'm gonna take you guys along with me to the meeting as I always do. It's been two years and now that things are back up and running, it's finally back in person. Um, so I don't have to do it online. All right, to get started, I just kind of laid out my packing materials. I am a huge, huge fan of packing cubes. And these from Eagle Creek are the best. Uh, they just keep everything organized. It ends up taking up far less space. Love them. So I got those laid out. This is the little jewelry case that came in my FabFitFun box. So I'm excited to give that a go. This brand Travel On also makes really good packing storage. These I usually use for like socks and underwear. This is a Travel On clear zip that I'll probably use for all of my beverage sticks, coffee, my athletic greens. I like to take electrolyte powder with me. And this I bought on Amazon to store cords and things. Although honestly, looking at it, the thing that takes up the most space is the is the electrical cord for my laptop. I don't think all that's gonna go in here, but a good amount of tech stuff will go in here. I've never actually used this, but I might end up using it today. I mean, for this trip, we'll see. So I have those laid out. And then this is an eye mask that was, I think it came in a FabFitFun or a PR box. I'll definitely be taking that because y'all know I love my eye masks. This is a hair towel, turban towel. I like to have those. These are pajamas that I've never worn before, but they came in this little pouch. So I'm gonna take those with me. A viewer actually sent those to me a long time ago. So they're gonna get some use. This is the robe that came in my FabFitFun box. I thought I would take that as well for the room. This is the toiletry bag I'm gonna fill up. It came from CeraVe as a PR gift. And I'm definitely gonna take the moisturizing cream and the hydrating facial cleanser. Let's see if there's some kind of a brand that makes this. It just says CeraVe. Does CeraVe make toiletry bags? I wish they did because this one, I don't know, maybe there's like a, this is made in China. Maybe there's one on Amazon that's kind of like this. You'd really have to hunt. But what I'm liking about it is the material. First of all, it's not leather. <laughs> and it's really stretchy, so I'm gonna be able to fit a lot in there. I mean, I don't really take a lot, but like, I don't know, my brush and everything, so yeah. Does anybody else panic buy before a trip? So I'm gonna be going to Boston, and I have no idea what the weather's gonna be like there. It's definitely not gonna be as warm as I'm accustomed to, but it's gonna be, I don't know. So I figured I'd have layers, and so I panic bought this little, jacket in case it's cold got it on amazon then i also panic bought this little thing although honestly i'll probably get a lot of use out of this regardless this little cardigan and this dress i'm going to be taking from calvin klein yeah this is a great dress i'm going to wear this there's an event the first night the nice thing about this dress is it doesn't wrinkle easily whereas this other one that i have that i'm going to wear the first day of the conference Looks very politician-esque. I don't know, kind of giving me that, those vibes. I got this one on Amazon. It fits really well. Anyways, yeah, Vince Camuto and Calvin Klein, Haute Couture. This is about as, this is about as fancy fashion as I get on this channel. I'm gonna pack my toiletries now. This is the CeraVe bag I showed you guys earlier. And I also came across this that came in a PR package just from NARS. I'm gonna put the makeup in that just this little compact and this is the brush that i apply it with this is the brow brush that i got in my yes style k beauty advent calendar i've been using it mascara charlotte tilbury push-up lash I'll go in there and i'm going to take this lip color from Charlotte Tilbury in the color Pillow Talk. You can see I've used a fair amount of it. So that's gonna go. The reason I selected this little bag is because it actually fits inside the CeraVe bag. See what I did there? And CeraVe bag, I've got the hydrating cleanser. 
I've got the moisturizing cream. Then for sunscreen, I'm gonna bring this SVR Cicabit Plus. This is a chemical sunscreen. I got this on Look Fantastic and I really like it. It um, is moisturizing, but it's not greasy. There's no cast to this. And it's interesting, it's got like a little pointed applicator here. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the skin. It's pretty thick. It's good if your skin is ir irritated too. It's kind of got a soothing effect. I think it has licorice extract in it. Anyways, that's gonna go in. I have these little silicone travel containers from Function of Beauty. You can get these though online. And I'm gonna use one of them, the one labeled body lotion for to dis dispense some of this Aven Tolerance Extremely Gentle Cleanser Lotion. I use this as a first step in a double cleanse. I was gonna take the Softimo, but I figured, I actually was kind of worried that the cleansing oil would erode the silicone. I don't know, I feel like I've read that somewhere. Maybe it came to me in a dream. Um, and plus I was kind of worried that it might leak more. So yeah, these are really handy though. So I'm gonna pop that in for my double cleanse. Then I recently went to the dentist for my twice a year teeth cleaning and they always give me a toothbrush. So I like to take that new in package and they always give me a little travel toothpaste. So I've got that. And then I'm also gonna bring the Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment with hyaluronic acid. Love this product. I think I'm gonna put that in the makeup section though, just so it's in there more contained. And I'm also gonna take the Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine in the shade Radiant Rose too, just have an extra lip color. Okay, we've got all that. Oh, and then definitely don't wanna forget this. This is the Rodiel Skin Tint. This is both sunscreen and kind of, I kind of use it as makeup, I guess you would just say. I'm gonna put that in there too. And I like to have a comb, so I'm gonna slide this one. This came in a PR package from Drunk Elephant. I don't know if they have these on their website, but it's a pretty good comb. So I'm gonna put that in there too. Last but not least, I don't wanna forget my Tretinoin. I'm just gonna go in there. And then I've got some contact lenses. I wanna wear my glasses on the plane, but I'm gonna put the contacts in when I get there. And then I also will slide these in. I like to have I like to have a headband to when I wash my hair. When I wash my hair, when I wash my face, you know, I like to have something to put my hair up out of my face with. I'm gonna take this one by Kitsch. There we go. All right, and then I'm also gonna take this brush, but I will just ram that in the suitcase. Let's move on. All right, I went ahead and pulled out my suitcase. I also pulled out this tote bag. I bought this at Target when I was in Los Angeles to bring stuff back. It's amazing, it's a new day brand. And I pulled this out too. I'm not gonna take both, but I'm kinda gonna decide which one I should take for my laptop and stuff. I'll end up bringing a bunch of stuff back probably, in which case I may want this instead. So anyways, I'll decide on that in a moment. All right, so it's Wednesday evening. I leave tomorrow. My flight takes off. My flight boards at 5.15 in the morning and I've got a layover in Maryland. And then I fly from Maryland to Boston, but I'm gonna have to get up really early, which I don't have a problem with, but does anybody else get like really anxious about early morning travel, like either that you're gonna sleep in or something's gonna happen? Plus, you know me, how much I advocate for good sleep. I'm definitely going to be sacrificing sleep today because yeah, it is just what it is. Anyways, I'll try to not get too hung up, but this is my suitcase and what I like about it is that the two sides have these like mesh dividers, so it's really nice. You can put your dirty clothes 
when you come back in one side if you wanted to and like the rest of the stuff on the other side it's really handy i'm also going to take this little bag that came from erin condren a couple of years ago i got and i'm going to use it because i'm going to an event the first night it kind of looks like a glam bag or whatever i'm going to an event the first night and they like prohibit large bags so this is perfect it's small i can put my wallet and my phone and um, a mask inside here, you know, carry a mask and it not take up too much space. No matter how light I pack, I always feel like I brought too much. <laughs> there's always something I don't end up using, but there's always something that I wish I had brought. It's like, yeah. All right, let's check out this Eagle Creek packet thing. I might end up using this for the dresses and stuff. Oh, there's instructions in here. for running and I'm gonna take two pair of running shorts, a pair of leggings here, and a pair of jeans. I'm gonna wear these shoes on the plane and they've only ever touched my treadmill. They've never been outside. That's why I'm letting them loose here on the carpet. I don't like to have shoes in the house unless they're treadmill shoes. But anyways, these I'm going to, they're, they're kind of old. I've had them for a while even though they look brand new. Um, I'm going to wear them on the plane. I'm going to have them for running shoes for the gym there, and I'm going to have them for walking about. Um, but I'm also going to bring these shoes in my suitcase that I still have in the shoe bag from the last time I traveled. I don't wear them that much, but these are some little nude pumps. So I'm going to take those for the dresses. All right. Um, the leggings here. Put the rose on top here. And there we go. Right. I felt weird like folding my underwear in front of you guys. So I got all my underwear and bras in this one as well as one pair of cozy slipper socks and then I also went ahead and did all my socks in here. The black packer in there. This. I think I'm going to put the eye mask though in my carry-on because like I said, when I leave, I'm gonna be wanting to snooze probably on the first flight. So I'm gonna put this in the carry-on bag. I mean, this is all carry-on, but the one that I'm gonna have with me in my seat, that's what I meant. Importantly, let's pack the beverage bag. This is electrolyte powder. I like to have it like after a run. <clears throat> and I also like to have it like for flights and stuff. I don't know, I just feel like it is hydrating, tastes good. There's no sugar or anything. Anyways, um, I normally just buy the powder. I don't buy these individual sticks, but for travel purposes, they're really handy. I got the raspberry flavor. Some for Siggy, because this is a must, y'all know. And I also have, of course, some AG1 travel packets that I'm gonna take. So this will be my beverage bag here. <laughs> These are so good. This is the best instant coffee I've ever had. I'm not being dramatic when I say that. I used to drink Starbucks Bias, but sometimes they would kind of make me a little bit nauseous. I don't know, but these super smooth, 
they don't have like a weird taste to them like instant coffee they're really good so let's throw those in oh and i almost forgot i like to have tea at night time so i'm gonna take some of the peak teas i'm gonna take the hibiscus beauty elixir and some ginger digestion and some mint shove those in there we go so that's the beverage bag. <laughs> I'm set. And I also have a Ziploc bag here. I've got some snacks that I'm gonna take. These protein bars by Julian Bakery. And I've got these That's It bars, just fruit bars. Those would be good to have. Protein powder packets, so I'm gonna take those. And I have these little oatmeals. I figured, push comes to shove, I could mix this with the protein powder and some water if I don't have time to like grab breakfast or whatever and there's nothing good nearby. Like for example, this at Starbucks is like, I don't know what the going rate for the instant oatmeal at Starbucks is. Definitely saves you money to bring your own instant oatmeal. Right, yeah, I'm gonna load up on that. I also have some Verb Energy Bars in the flavor Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup. Definitely gonna take some of those. I'm gonna just take this bag of dried apples. All right, snacks and drinks, <laughs> good to go. All right, y'all, I'm in here in my closet. I don't know what kind of angle I have you all on, but I'm gonna pack up some jewelry here in my new little jewelry case that came in my FabFitFun box. Pretty happy to have this. So let's see here. I am definitely going to take this necklace that I got recently. I think it's, actually I might just wear it on the plane. Isn't it cute? It's from the accessory concierge. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna wear that tomorrow. Hopefully I remember waking up so early. All right, I'm just gonna pack a few candidate earrings here. These little faux pearls. And I'm also gonna do the Betsy Johnson flowers. And I love these too. Oh shoot, my battery's gonna die soon. I'll put those in. All right, I changed the battery. Um, I'm going to take those earrings and then on this side I'm going to put some bracelets. I've got this pretty one from Accessory Concierge. It's going to go there. I think I'll take these two from Bellmare Designs. Those are cute. So I'll take those. Alright, so this is what the other half of the suitcase is looking like. I've got my toiletry bag, the jewelry box, my snack bag. I went ahead and got my San Diego hat company hat just in case <laughs> ready for all weather I'm gonna put this in my with me bag just put my wallet in here and I'm also gonna put my phone but then I took the strap off there's still a good a bit amount of room to left so I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up all right my suitcase is packed and then this bag is gonna go with me on the plane it's gonna have my laptop in it and I'm gonna put this in there with my wallet and stuff and I'm also gonna put a bag like this with all my tech stuff but I have to wait until the very last minute to get all that together all right so I checked the weather there and it says it's gonna be like in the 30s which honestly I cannot <laughs> imagine what 30s feels like. I know it's not as cold as like below freezing, <laughs> but I can't picture how cold that is. Like I can't, I can't conceptualize that. It also looked like it was gonna be raining. Anyways, um, I showed you guys that I got this little jacket, but on the Amazonian, I bought this Amazon Basics uh, packable longer jacket coat and I'm gonna pack that up. Came with a little pouch to store it in. I just feel as though, you know, I get off the plane or whatever and go to my hotel. It might be raining and cold. Be the magic. Pack my ponytail in there. <laughs> 
is like reverse pimple popping. You guys, thank you for keeping me company. And see, if I wasn't filming this, do you know what I would probably do? I'd probably say, oh, screw it. And I'd just try and stuff it in there. But I kind of feel like I have to at least keep giving it an effort because you guys are watching. One benefit of having this all rolled up like this is gonna be I can have a little neck pillow for the plane. All right, good enough. <laughs> like a sausage. Man, this is like a football. All right, that's going in. But the goal of the keep with me bag is not to fill it up so much that it can't be stuffed underneath the, underneath the uh, seat in front of me. I'm gonna actually put this in here in the front. All right, we are all packed pretty much aside from the tech stuff, which like I said, that is like the very last minute, but I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you all enjoy just kind of seeing like how I pack my skincare and what I'm taking with me. Make sure you check out the vlogs this weekend so you can see all of the skincare fun at the meeting. I can't wait to take you guys along. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.